I'm going to present a flowchart that is a model for doing quantitative analysis projects. Such projects usually come in five stages. Data preparation, data exploration, analysis and modelling. And of course the write-up of the project to communicate the results. Data preparation. Successful projects require the right data. The data are grouped into one or more dependent variables representing the phenomenon to be understood and a set of sometimes many independent variables used to develop an explanation of the dependent variables. Choice of variables is likely to be influenced by current understanding of the phenomenon and possibly some fresh conjecture to be tested. Data may come from internal resources of an organisation such as transactions data and external open data such as census. What data you find determines what you can use to build your project and how insightful it will be. Data exploration. To explore the data properly you must first identify the different data types such as numerical and categorical data amongst your variables and structure the data accordingly. In this way, silly analytical mistakes, such as calculating the average gender, are avoided. Quality checks are the first thing to explore. Find possible mistakes and inconsistencies. Evaluate the extent of missing data and whether this might compromise your analysis. Then you should explore basic descriptive statistics for all variables so you can understand, for example, the range of values, their distribution, and for a numerical dependent variable, whether it is not di normally distributed. Finally, you explore relationships within the data using mostly graphical techniques. One is particularly interested in the strength of relationship between each independent variable and the dependent variable often using the correlation coefficient. Those independent variables that have a correlation approaching zero can be dropped from the analysis as their relationship with the dependent variable is random. Data analysis. There are three strands to analysis, hypothesis testing, clustering and further preparatory steps for good modelling. Hypothesis tests are used to establish if any observed differences between, say, this year and last year, or this region and that region, could have arisen purely by chance, or are indeed real differences to take note of. Sometimes clustering of independent variables or questionnaire responses can give important insights that help shape the analysis and final modelling. Models such as regression should be parsimonious and avoid high correlations between the independent variables. Actually, really good models are beautiful models. So the third strand of analysis is the various steps of dimensionality reduction that result in the final selection of independent variables for use in modelling. Modelling. Whereas exploration and analysis were mostly about relationships, Modelling is more about causality. Shown here are options for regression modelling. Machine learning projects are treated separately in another video. Different approaches to regression depend on the nature of the dependent variable to be explained. Most common are linear regression, logistic regression and Poisson regression. There are, of course, many others. Finally, the whole project needs to be written up in sufficient detail that the project findings have validity and could be replicated by a reader. This YouTube channel will feature a growing number of videos on quantitative and qualitative analysis and on machine learning. Videos will also consider detailed aspects and techniques. These are based on 25 years of masterclasses. Subscribe and look for them.